branch in St. Mary's Bay, Newfoundland, are of Irish origins. And even now, many years since their forefathers emigrated to this land, they still remain distinctly Irish in many ways. Nowhere is this Celtic heritage more obvious than in the music they make and in the language they speak. Virtually anywhere you go in branch, people will talk about their ancestry and at the top of a hat will give you a song or a dance. And Mr. Michael Nash here, who's 85, I think is no exception. Michael, your grandfather and grandmother came over from Ireland. Um, what sort of impressions did they leave in your mind? Of the old country. Yeah. Good. Very good. There you go. Very good. But yeah. You know the way the way they they claim for they hear tell them do for land being a great spot to live in, you know. At that day it's in them time. They, right. They talked to all the going doing you know, went out for the best way they were wished to. Things yeah. wasn't too good at all. No, not too good in all in, in that time either. Still. Because there were an awful lot of people left out of them in them days, you know, still. still. Because they weren't getting a fair at all. That's what they, ta that's what they talked about. <laughs> I'm bidding farewell to the land of my youth and the home I love so well. And the mountains grand in my own native land, I bid them all farewell. With a naked heart, I bid them adieu, for tomorrow will sail far away. For the raging foam to seek a home on the shores of America. But it's not for the want of employment I'm going, and it's not for the love of fame. For that fortune bright will shine over me and give me a glorious name. Not, not for the want of employment I'm going, or the weary and stormy sea, but to seek a home for my own true love. And when I am bidding my last farewell, the tears like rain will fly. To think of my friends in my own native land and the home I'm leaving behind. And if I'm to die in a foreign land and be buried so far, far away, no fun mother's tears will be shed over my grave on the shores of America. You must have heard some sounds when you were a kid from the world. Oh, yes, yeah, that's one. Did you ever hear? You never hear Tom O'Neill, did you? Not Tom O'Neill. It was another one you were telling me last night. Uh, Martha's a green, is it? That's it. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to sing now. Will you do that for me now? No, yeah. Goodbye okay. yourself. Yeah, yeah. Down. There. Go ahead. Now. <coughs> <coughs> it was in November I were in Amber to know the year old to Manchester came. It was their intention I now will mention Wait. to free old Ireland from our tired sin. Now the police then view them as if they knew them not to pursue, and they did not fail. They did surround them with handcuffs bound them and they marched and prisoners to the county jail. When down the scaffold they looked around them, now the sun out here and was to be seen. Although from my around they came in thousands to see those martyrs die for the green. Mr. Michael Nash, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you.
The Elkport community of Branch is located just a few miles from Cape St. Mary's and its famous bird rock. Here, thousands of gannets nest and rear their young on the abundant sea life found in the waters below. The rock stands just a stone's throw from the mainland of Newfoundland and for some strange reason, the birds nest only on the rock itself, refusing the similar terrain of the rugged south coast. The physical look of the land and the people, red-haired and freckled children, the seasoned faces of the old timers with their strong dialect, would lead most people believing they'd be transported back in time to the 19th century, to the counties of Waterford, Wexford, Kilkenny and Tipperary in the southeast of Ireland. For this is where many of their forefathers came from in the early 1800s. The old timers still have the songs and verse of their ancestors and with luck, the present generations will cherish their living past. Ah, have you ever been to Ireland on a spring morning with a bicycle under your arm and a bar of soap in your mouth? And I'd like it too. Paddy was an Irish man, Paddy was a bee. Paddy come to my house and stole a piece of beef. I went to Paddy's house and Paddy was in bed and I put the boot on and shot him in the head. <laughs> and I like it too. <laughs>